going on? I'm DJ Merkout. Um, I want to talk about COVID-19. So I am doing this video because um, I've got a uh, tremendous amount of phone calls, text messages, messages, DMs from my mom. I just want to thank everybody for the prayers and the love. Back March the 12th, um, I was staying with my uncle. He works for Tri-State Hospital. Um, that's when he first um, was saying that he wasn't feeling well. Um, he wasn't eating, he wasn't drinking. Well, he was drinking like tea. Um, he was um, drinking their, their flu, um, halls, and for a week straight, he just got worse. Um, I felt like he should have went to the hospital after the third day, but he didn't. March the 20th is when he, um, is when he woke up saying that he couldn't breathe. My mother got uh, diagnosed with COVID last week. She went into rehab for a couple weeks to learn how to work her new power chair. So she learned how to pop with so she said. So rushed to the ambulance and three days later, um, they had to put him in an induced coma. Um, I haven't been able to see her or touch her in a few weeks because you're not allowed to when they're in the hospital in the rehab. And all you gotta do is wait. All you can do is wait on these doctors and nurses to, uh, to give you a call back to let you know how your loved one is doing. March 30th is when I start feeling sick, like real sick. So I really don't have any updates. Um, but I will reach back out to everybody. Um, right now my mom is in the ICU on the ventilator, so y'all keep sending up those prayers. And you know, thank you all. April 2nd is when I woke up. I couldn't breathe. Now, March the 30th, I had felt real, real, real bad. Called 911, they came and got me because I thought I had it then. April 2nd come, I woke up, and when I say I couldn't breathe, I couldn't breathe. I was like blowing air out to breathe, and then I passed out. I woke up in the hospital. Um, now they ran the test. They had that that freaking foot long uh -huh, Q tip stuck it up my nose. Boom, boom. They they I probably got about so I was in the hospital from April 2nd to April 8th. I probably got all of 33 shots. And then they they came back with the test on oh at night. Um April 3rd at night I said I was positive. Um, when I say I was weak, my body was aching. Um, I couldn't move. If I laid down and set up, I was out of breath. The bathroom, literally, from where my bed was at, was like, uh, not even a foot. Not even a foot. Maybe seven inches. To me, to get from my bed to the bathroom, from the bathroom to the bed, took like 45 minutes. Because I was out of breath, I couldn't breathe, I had to stop, I had to sit down, I had to do all of this. Um, at this point, this is April 3rd, I haven't ate for 10 days. I haven't ate anything. No fruit, no soup. Only thing I've been surviving off of is water and ice. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Um, that's how my body felt. Um, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I wouldn't wish that on God enemy. Um, April 5th is when, April 6th is when my mom called me at night and said, um, you know, I need you to get up and move around. If the sun is out and it's shining, try to get that sunlight. She told me all of that. I'm like, mom, I can't. She said, son, you're going to have to. Because at the time when I'm in the hospital, I'm getting 40, 50 calls a day. People like, are you sure? They can't believe that, like, DJ Merkow, this is the guy that I see every day. We shake his hand. He DJs. He's all this. He got COVID, something that happened in China. Yes, that's, it's real. It's, it's extremely real. And people ain't going to take it serious until they lose somebody close to them. All the government planted this, and man, look, man, I don't get sick, okay? And I got sick, and I know I couldn't breathe, and I developed pneumonia. I've never in my life had any of those things until my uncle gets sick. 
and I get it from my uncle, and now my uncle's not here. Even right now, I got my breathing back, but I still will catch myself. I don't think my oxygen is all the way back. I don't know if I'm gonna even get it all the way back. I don't know if I gotta work that up, but people need to wake up. This is just another thing that confuses me. Like everybody wears, oh, you gotta, you gotta have on a mask. You gotta have on the mask. If it's airborne, the mask, it's not sealed shut. <laughs> it's not sealed shut. It's not, okay? You know, first and foremost, wash your hands. Wash your hands and, and, and you know, and just be mindful. Just hopefully, uh, you know, people people start taking this more serious. And, um, you know, because it's not going anywhere. It's not going nowhere. This is going to be here for the rest of our lives. We just got to learn how to live with it.